five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. What a tragedy. What a tragedy. Hey guys, Jeff Parrish here from CED, and today we are visiting PASA. That's Parrish Aeronautical Space Administration. You probably haven't heard of it, but it exists. It's kind of like the Area 51 thing. You just don't talk about it a lot, all right? So, what we're looking at today, this is a launch of the Saturn V rocket back in about 1837. You know, so we started looking into it like, what happened? So what we decided to do is investigate a little bit. What we found is that the gyroscope that controls basically the pitch, yaw, and row of the uh, rocket itself had came loose inside there. And it's actually a sensor that was designed to detect that. However, back then, we didn't have Allen Bradley I.O. link available. So we didn't have that technology to know that the cable that actually went to the sensor had physically become disconnected, okay? So what happened... <laughs> is we got to looking into this and said, you know what, how can we improve upon this going forward? And if you lose your pass a pass, don't worry, we have more, okay? Um, so we got to looking into it and said, what can we do here as far as actually getting more data? So with Allen Bradley I.O. link, here's what could have happened, okay? We got our 42 EF sensor right here. That's detecting the gyroscope inside our rocket here, right? Making sure it's in place. Well, if that cable nowadays had come loose, on our command module here, as far as where you can monitor stuff, it shows me the sensor's disconnected. It tells me it's disconnected. I would have known that, and I would have shut down the launch. Shut it down. But I didn't know. Okay. So, you'll notice, too, that once we actually reconnect the sensor here, again, using Allen Bradley I.O. link and Allen Bradley sensors, it tells me right there, sensor's reconnected. We even timestamp. We know exactly when it went offline, when it came online. Okay. So, that's one advantage to Allen Bradley I.O. link as well as some other key features as well. Let's say we wanted to actually go through here and monitor the actual pressure inside our oxygen tanks. All right, that's important, right? So let's say this sensor right here, which is the 836P pressure sensor, is monitoring the pressure. Well, you'll notice that as the pressure goes up here, you see it here, you also see it displayed here on the HMI. Now, in the past, the way we did that is we would have a 4 to 20 milliamp signal coming out of this going into a 4 to 20 amp millicard and then basically we'd have to scale that. With IO link there's no scaling whatsoever. Literally you take the sensor, you plug it up to one of either your IO link master module here, the on-machine connectivity, or point IO. But either way it comes in as a decimal value. We don't scale anything anymore. Another great example of this as well is let's go back over here and look at our diagnostic data. Now Channel 2 here is this laser sensor that we're looking at right here, okay? So that's that guy right there that's actually shining onto our rocket telling us what position it's on on the launch pad. And you'll notice that as I come in here, that value is changing, all right? And then it's going back. Again, that's coming in as a decimal value. We are not scaling anything on 4 to 20. So that's the beauty of Allen Bradley IO Link sensors with Allen Bradley's IO Link interface modules, okay? Some other key features too. Let's say I have a sensor set up here that has a certain set point out here. Well, we also have automatic device configuration. So anytime I'm setting these sensors up, the data and the set points is stored inside the processor. So at two o'clock in the morning, if I actually have one of these sensors go down, I can unplug it, plug a new one right back up, and I'm back up and running. I never had to change anything about the sensor whatsoever, okay? So keep those key benefits in mind when we're talking about the Allen Bradley I.O. leak. Um, Another key benefit, too, I want to mention is the add-on profiles. You actually literally take this block, put it in your Ethernet tree, then go through and tell it in each port basically what sensor you're using, and it populates all your data tables with all the parameters that you can pull out of these sensors. It's a wealth of information, but it's a great, great setup if you want advanced diagnostic information. All right? So what we did is we decided, you know what? We're going to do another launch now with our... Uh, Saturn V rocket, okay? So this time we actually put Allen Bradley sensors and Allen Bradley I.O. link in there, and I feel like we're gonna have a much more successful run this time, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go on out to the launch pad now. We actually have a camera set up remotely. We're gonna monitor in a safe distance away from that, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look out there now and see what's going on as far as on the pad itself. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we 
we go. Go, baby. Go, baby. Yeah. Fly. Oh, yeah. We cleared the tire in 1313, Houston. We've got a good launch. That's a beautiful thing. So the key thing to keep in mind, Allen Bradley Island, Allen Bradley Sensors. It's not rocket science. 